Hi there. Thanks for registering to the AWS Academy Cloud Foundations course. This is just to walk you through what you should be expecting in this course. So uh, as soon as you get enrolled, you should be receiving an email like this that says course invitation and that's what you will have in here. So just to walk you through uh, how do you proceed from here, I have made this video. So uh, once you receive this email, click on get started. And when you do that, it will take you to a page awsacademy.instructure.com now if you i'm assuming most of you might not have an account in awsacademy.instructure.com if you have an account in something else.instructure.com like that will not count you need it in this uh, subdomain i'll go about creating a new account so i'll say create my account and this is the email id that i have used wherever you have received the invitation that's what you are going to do there and then I'm going to set a password. Okay, something. And then you set your time zone. So I'm going to do that. 5.30 is going to be somewhere here. Let's say I do New Delhi. Okay. And I'd like to... Okay, I'll select both of these things and then click on register. Now an account for me which is like sofiana things do, dot school got created in aws academy dot instructure dot com and this is my student portal and this is the course number uh, depending on which one you have been in, enrolled in which semester you will have like different things now uh, this is pretty much like a self uh, regulated self explanatory course so what you should be expecting here is like uh, once you get access to this go on to modules and then you will see all the different uh, modules we have as part of this course it starts with the introduction there is a pre-course survey th that evaluates like uh, your background into cloud computing or what you are trying to do and then pretty much like most of these are videos themselves let, let me quickly uh, show you this course introduction video and then th there's a video so this is one of the reasons why you don't really need an instructor to walk you through the content that's available here because like aws academy team they have recorded the videos themselves this content comes basically from the like official aws team so you have all that uh, videos that you can watch you can uh, increase decrease the speed you can have the subtitles made available to you in whichever language you want so all of that is an option now i'll quickly go back to modules so i can show you the other things there's a student guide which is basically going to talk to you about like how do you use the content how do you get access to the content which is like the slides if they are used in these videos how do you access those slides that's what you have in the student guide so you know, the first one it has like 39 pager one me do this so it gets uh, like this and then you can scroll through and then you have like whatever is there in the course introduction slide uh like the video that slide back along with the comments you, you get to access it here so you can either watch the video or you can watch you, you can go through the student guide or you can access both of these things so that you can consolidate your understanding of the different modules okay i'll go back to modules and then now uh, now this course has like three types of content one is the video that you watch wait there are like four types of content there are videos that you watch and then there are um uh, knowledge checks that you can take the student guide so there's video content there is student guide which is basically like the slide pack along with comments that's uh, content type two content type three is like with every module you have like one or more knowledge checks and when only when you complete these knowledge checks you uh, get to be part of like the completing batch so you get access to the badge uh, well like i'll uh, just quickly move on and then we i showed you like how the videos work and then how do you access the student guide and then knowledge checks you just click on it it opens up uh, the questionnaire like a quiz this one has a few questions and then you, you, you can take these knowledge checks as many times as you want but it's expected out of you that like you need to get 
80 uh, percent or higher so you click start you start answering these questions and then once you complete it you submit uh, i mean like you, you select answers for each of these go submit and then you are expected to have more than like 80 percent of the points now this is content type 3 but also to give you some exposure to how uh, the different concepts in amazon web services work you have the fourth type of content which is called labs so in module 4 we have the first lab that gets us through the cloud security so when you click on this one it will open up a page where you will be able to access okay first time you will go through this terms and conditions let's agree to this I'll, um, appreciate if you want to read those terms and conditions and then the first time it asks you student access and this is what you have now what you need to do here is like my work it should open up the lab for us well now this has multiple parts to it for example there is like uh, the guide uh, so basically like the lab guide uh, that talks you through like that walks you through like what is expected out of you in this particular lab there will be different steps how do you get started with the lab you need to click on the start lab button so on top right there is the start lab button once you click on that it will provision and then once that gets provisioned you can click on the aws button that will open up the aws management console and then you will complete the rest of the tasks that you have here so in this lab we have how many tasks there's one there's two and then three and i think like there are four no it's only three okay so it says like lab status in creation let it do its job okay so uh, in task one whatever is expected out of you like most of these things will ha also have be would have been walked through the video content that you have so how do you explore the users and groups concept in amazon uh, management console uh, aws management console you can go through all of these things well i'll let you uh, explore this in your own time but i'll quickly also show you like as this gets provisioned and the start lab completes its uh, loading part when you click on aws that's what will take you to another tab which will have you logged in into a temporary aws uh, account so that, that's the reason why you also see here like okay Tim labs like user double nine six one three so whatever is my username that's what you see this is a temporary account how long will it last for on top right here you see like it will last for like one hour 59 more minutes that, that's how much it will i mean that's the duration of uh, how long you get access to this account although this lab might have lab take up uh, takes approximately 40 minutes so you are still given like a couple of hours with this account now what you see here is like the readme if you want this terminal if you want to try something with cli you can have this otherwise you can uncheck this that will go off if you want to access the files maybe you try it if you want to access the source you try that but let's say i, I, I don't want any of these things so i'll just like click on read me read me is what i want the instructions so that's all good instructions okay. sorry uh, the tasks that you have you will complete it here once you complete it you, you can like simply sign out of uh, this account and also once you are done with it you can click on end lab so the lab gets ended well i'll write it and i'll go back to modules now th there are a few i mean like all these knowledge checks is a requirement for you to uh, complete with 80 percent score so that uh, each of these modules we have okay let me collapse all so you get to see how many modules are there there are like 10 modules once you complete this most of these are uh, like self-paced you, you can understand you can take your time if you need more help you can also check the youtube videos or if you want to discuss something with me based on a project that you want to work on like uh, always feel free to reach out to me and then i'll uh, be uh, of help to you now th there's also one another type of uh, lab 
that's available to you that's called sandbox now most of these labs that we have available that's like specific to that particular instructions but what if you want like uh, an account where you can explore things so that's where the sandbox environment comes which basically gives you uh, access to an aws account that you can use in order to explore the different services uh, whatever is made available to you as a student so that's what you get to do here you can see it that uh, you get an account and these are the services that will be made available to you to explore amazon has like aws has a number of services like uh, over a hundred services it has and then uh, in each of those categories it has like even sub services different configurations but for you to explore like this should be good enough for you okay so once you complete all of these things and also make sure you completed all the knowledge checks that's when you finally you get to see this badges and completion certificates so you can click uh, on this claim your badge that will be made that will get enabled once you complete all those knowledge checks now what type of a badge how does it look like i'll quickly show you uh, so uh, that badge is hosted on credly.com and then it is going to look something like this i have to get rid of this one as well Redly.com slash organization slash Amazon Web Services. It shows you all the badges that Amazon Web Services offers. Now, the, the one that you will get once you complete this will be looking something like this. AWS Academy Graduate and AWS Academy Cloud Foundations. This is the course that you are completing, so you will get access to this. Now, uh, for like going to the higher uh, badges uh, the associate level and the others like i would definitely want you to first complete this how many else are there let's quickly uh, let me quickly show that to you aws academy graduate so this is the foundational one and then you have the semester one semester two which is basically like uh, an instructor led so people who complete that want to start working on the projects i can take you through i can enroll you into a couple of other courses which is like aws academy introduction to cloud semester one and this one is cloud semester two so we can go through that and then we can go further with cloud architecting that's like uh, the associate level uh, content that you have available and like whoever completes this and also if they are fortunate enough to um, like take these associate certification exam they have like really good demand and there are some speciality uh, as well like uh, speciality courses for example there's an aws academy machine learning course and also there is aws academy data analytics course then there is cloud developing computing architecture cloud operations or the, these are basically some of the associate level courses and th th there are all these things I, I can have that available to you but step by step so we are getting started with cloud foundations then the semester one semester two and then the associate level so the, the sooner you complete this, you get these badges, I can have you enrolled into the higher level stuff. And uh, how long do you think this will take to complete? Like uh, 20 to 30 hours is all you need. So even if you spend like four to five hours a week, in a month, you should be able to complete this um, easily. Although you have like maybe two, three months. So this shouldn't be like any challenge to you to go through this on your own. And like this, course is also aligned with one of the certifications that aws offers that certification is called cloud practitioner now depending on uh, what's your goal to learn what's your career plan you could be preparing either for the foundational level cloud practitioner certification or you might want an associate level certification so if you want to stop with uh, this cloud foundations you could uh, yeah, like work through the certification resources really and you could uh, appear for this exam that's associated with the certification once you complete that you will get this badge and the certificate as well or you could go higher complete the associate level course and then you could uh, 
try to earn this AWS certified solutions architect associate exam. This is what has like a lot of demand, uh, like I said. Well, there are like uh, job opportunities available for students that is made available in something called as AWS Educate Job Board. When you click on that, it will walk you through uh, the different steps you need to follow in order to access that job board. You can apply for the job there and all that is possible. Well, this is all I quickly wanted to share so that um, once I enroll you, you know what is expected out of you and then you can get started. and rock the course and if you need any help you know where to reach out to me this video should have come to you in an email that's the email id you should be contacting today thank you